Hi, this is Dennis. How are you doing? I hope you are well. Uh, you know, we lost our videos. A hacker entered to our channel and erased everything. We still have some machines, so we make the video again. We have still have some video that we kept, and but some video we don't have anymore uh, because the machines are not here anymore. So if you have some videos of mine, you can send it back to me and we can reload them back to the channel, to the new channel. And you see, this is the generator that we made last year. Uh, unfortunately, we lost the video. We are making it again. Okay. Uh, this is a 900 uh, gener fuel, uh, fuel generator. It means it was with gas. We took out the piston, as you see. We took everything out. We left the alternator inside. As you see, this is the starter. I put magnets. As you see exactly, look carefully. We put them inside here. You see? Look. One, two, and then we put around three of them not to pass the limit of the circle, okay? Facing no, and then all the magnets are here in place. I put it inside. And now it works a little bit differently because the RPM is uh, it's already generating in a low RPM. Okay, we are going to make a demonstration. Here we have a washing machine uh, motor. You can see maybe inside here the numbers of the details. Uh, it's a 1 ampere, a 220 volt, a 200 watt a washing machine. Okay, we have, I hope you can see the numbers there. We have a, a bridge here okay this is the outlet the original outlet of the generator now here you can see we are not connected to anything you see we are not connected to the motor motor can go on the other side and this is going to the other side you see before i connected the motor upside down to the engine to the alternator now I make a separate alternator as you saw before and this one is about 3.6 you see ampere it's a very strong alternator it's a servo motor origin original and this is 110 uh, I know this is one ampere motor one ampere motor I think 220 and it's it's a it's AC motor one ampere and this is the contact of the electric motor this will be the input of the motor to run the alternator that will charge a battery here okay now i will demonstrate everything please note that uh, first i will put you the board just to run the generator and then we are going to explain how it works okay let's see if it works this is a 100, 100 a watt bulb okay we, we see if it's on if it's okay this is an inverter of uh, 2000 but it's 1000 it's around 800 it cannot give more than 10, 800 watts you understand they write many things but anyway now uh, this is a battery that will run with the inverter and you are going to charge another battery later we are going to measure how much we get and then I can tell you that you can do many other things with this generator not only powering the wait let's see so uh, this is the contact from the battery okay this is the battery uh, let's see uh, we are going to run it And you put the light. Okay. This is the ball. You can hear the noise, you see. Okay. Now 
Okay, this is the alternator that gives us the output of around 800, 700, maybe. Now, what you can do, what you can do is uh, instead to put now loads of 220 and, and to show that it works, you can do something much clever. You can put here a step down instead of the bulb and connect eight batteries of those one, eight batteries of 74 watts, uh, 74 amps hour. You will charge all the batteries very, very strong from one battery. So you can never stay without power because this battery is enough to run this for a long time. Then you have a bridge that go to the primer battery. You still remain with six batteries, six battery, fresh batteries to run your inverter of two kilo from 900 watts, you understand? It's very, very strong. I will show you what it gives with this alternator because this is a separate alternator. But this, this now with the magnet can be a, a PMG that will, run, that will run and charge you eight batteries. We charge eight batteries with this very, very strongly. And then instead of put the ball beer, we put the TV. We put many things, you understand, on the inverter that still have a lot of power from the six battery left. Two of them go back to this battery, to the primary, you understand? Let me show how much we get from the alternator, just to show you an example. I will put that here, okay? And I will put that here. Okay, we are on zero. Now, listen to me. Instead to put the bulb now, I will connect this motor, you understand? This motor to the load. And then we run this alternator, let's see how much it gives. It's interesting to see. Now, we put that. Okay. Let me see. I put it to the battery, I almost cooked the battery. I had to put a resistor and two resistors. So you can put many times battery here and you can put whatever you want, you understand? So uh, let me see if I can put a bulb. Oh, okay, we can try to put, uh, I want to put another bulb here if I have, but I don't know if I have, maybe three, yeah. There are a lot of possibility to play with this in case you just have to put the magnets on the alternator and uh, there are many things that you can do. You can put the, 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 the inverter here, you can put the inverter there, it will work anyway. But the most important thing is to charge a lot as much as you can batteries, you understand? Now, let's see here if I can put back so we can charge and to see the charge on a battery of 74 amps hour. We are going to measure first the battery. Okay, the battery is look, the battery right now is full, completely full. I charge it. Look. 12.7, okay, let me see, look. 12.96, you see, it's, a, it's, a, it's a completely new, you see, really, really full, you see? Now, I will put it here. I don't think we can go up from that, but maybe if we go, it will be enough to show you how the strong, the charge is so strong, you understand? See, you put it here. One here and one here. So let's run it. 
you can put as well on your inverter whatever you want from the battery this doesn't matter but the most important thing is to put the load for something creative you understand now uh, I will let I will let him turn first look at the number Charging like hell, really, too much charge. So you can charge few batteries here, but you can charge directly with a step down eight batteries and to give back here and use a bigger inverter. You understand? I hope you enjoy the video and you understand everything. Uh, the machine, as you see, is really not connecting to nothing. I put a bulb as well here for one more time for you to enjoy. But you can see, there's nothing there. You see? And very efficient if you know how to play with this. Okay, you can enjoy again the, for last time. And I will try to make some more video. Uh, for you. Okay. One from the alternator, one from the inverter, cell. And you can make a lot, a lot of things with it. There is nothing to do with this and this, you see? It's nothing to do. Okay? Because this is turning from one side and it's turning to the other side. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy it. Right, guys.